15 weather forecast. Welcome back. It's 10 minutes after 6, and if you're further towards the north, you may not have gotten a lot of sleep last night just because we had some storms roll through that had, of course, those torrential downpours, but they also had quite a bit of wind and some very large hail. This is a look at all of the warnings that were just from last night. Now, of course, there were a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings. That's what you see outlined in yellow, but even a few tornado warnings as a result of some radar indicated rotation. That was just east of Hayward, but some of these reports, again, these are radar indicated reports, nothing at the, the surface uh, that measured this, at least not that uh, came in, but a tennis ball sized hail. So again, some very, very large hailstones. If you have any photos, feel free to send those uh, to my Facebook or to weau.com slash weather. But here's a look at the storm reports over the last 12 hours. Notice that a lot of these were a result of wind, which did have some gusts around 60 to 70 miles per hour. Some very large hail. There was a large concentration of this towards the Wausau area, stretching up towards Rhinelander, but also another large concentration towards the northwestern parts of our viewing area, going to about the Minnesota border. And again, there was just a, quite a bit going on last night, but things have since quieted down. Now, here's a look at the last 12 hours on the satellite and radar, and you can see a lot of reds, a lot of yellows as these storms move through the area. Now, that was where we saw those heavier bouts of rainfall that uh, brought us as much as three inches of rain towards Tony and uh, also a little over an inch and a half towards the Lublin area outside of our studio, just over an inch. But again, there was also a lot of lightning uh, that was associated with that too, especially once some of these storms got going again around the Wausau area. But as I mentioned, things have quieted down. Here's a look at our Nicolay Bank Skycam over the Chippewa Falls Fairgrounds. Still looking at a bit of cloud cover, and it's still muggy this morning, too. That dew point at 64 degrees in Chippewa Falls, 65 degrees for the air temperature, 67 in Eau Claire. And a lot of us are in the 60s, couple places in the 70s, a bit further towards the southwest. And winds have been pretty light for the most part. That's not expected to change too much throughout the course of today. Now, again, still muggy, but definitely a bit of an improvement from yesterday where we had those dew points that were in the low to mid 70s. 64 degrees for your dew point in Eau Claire and 65 in La Crosse. Now here's a look at Skycast for this morning. We'll have some intervals of clouds and sun and possibly a stray shower or storm from time to time. But going into this afternoon, that's where we have better chances at those showers and storms moving through, especially south of I-90. That's where we have the best chance of some of those storms turning strong to severe yet again. And then looking ahead to tomorrow afternoon, we'll have a bit more sunshine and winds out of the north are going to help keep things on the cooler side. But as far as that severe threat going into tonight, this is something you want to keep in mind if you have any plans to travel down this way. But there is that level three risk of severe weather down towards the southwestern parts of Wisconsin where all severe threats are in play. And as we stretch as far north as the Chippewa Valley, we are under that level one risk, which is a marginal risk, uh, but still something to stay weather aware of going into uh, this afternoon into the evening. So a good place to start uh, getting those alerts is by downloading our Skywarn 13 weather app. But our highs today, while they're still above average, they are a lot more comfortable than yesterday, especially factoring in those dew points too. Mid 80s for a lot of us before tonight, we stay mostly in the upper uh, 50s, stretching to about the low 60s. Now beyond that, we'll stay in the low 80s through the weekend, a lot closer to average, very comfortable. Dew points will be lower. But then heading towards the middle of next week, those temperatures start to creep back up just a little bit, getting back into the upper 80s by Wednesday. And then chances for showers and storms effectively cool us off yet again by Thursday as our highs return closer to average. Now for a Sunshine Award, Kim Yonke would like to nominate Bill Lean and says, Bill is an outstanding person and provides excellent service in repairing equipment and providing parts. He goes out of his way to help you. And if he can't help or doesn't have a part, he calls around to find someone who does. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weeau.com.